Okay, YouTube, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can uh, emulate a mouse using a controller. Now, as you can see, my controller is already hooked up via Bluetooth. However, you can also use a wired connection. Um, in this case, I have a PS5 DualSense controller hooked up. First things first, you're going to want to head over to the terminal and type in sudo space apt-get space install space qdroidpad. I already have this installed, but it shouldn't take too much longer for you guys. Once that's installed, you're going to head over to the home menu, go to accessories, and go to QDroidPad. Now this it will start minimized to your tray, so keep that in mind. Okay, so as you can see, this interface displays the different buttons on your controller. Needless to say, this will vary from one controller to another, so if my exact mappings do not work for you, just make sure to experiment until you find the exact mappings that you want. Uh, keep that in mind. That being said, let's get started. So the first step is to open the first axis and you're going to want to change this to gradient and replace keyboard with mouse, in this case the horizontal mouse. And then you're going to want to change it from quadratic to linear. And you're going to want to change the mouse speed to 5. This works fine to me. Obviously you can change it as well if you want to. And just to test these buttons, you can see on the bottom that you get some feedback when you actually press them. So that's obviously a good sign. Then on axis 2, you're going to want to do the exact same thing, only that you change the mouse from uh, just a vertical instead of horizontal. And then you have both axes. And like I said, all the other settings basically stay the same. Alright, so in my case, button 11 is actually the left joystick click, and I want that to be my left mouse. Um, so what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to click on that button, and I will... On this pop-up, I'm just going to click mouse 1, so just give it a left click. And then button 12 is my right joystick click, and I'm just going to right click on that. So that would be mouse 3. Once you've done this, you can finish this whole thing off by just giving the layout a name. And once you've done that, you can just close out of it. It'll minimize to your tray, and then I'm going to show you how this actually works with the controller. Alright, so I do apologize for the poor quality in advance. However, as you can see, whenever I move my thumb across the joystick, this does actually move the mouse. And I can actually double click on an icon, and this will just load up the application. I can also just right click it, and then uh, select different options using my two joysticks. So. I really hope that helped you. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions, any issues, then leave a comment and let me know. I'll try to answer to the best of my abilities. Anyways, that's it for the video. If this did help you, please consider subscribing. I will be making more videos like this in the future and upping my production quality. Anyways, I hope that helped. Have a nice day.